what we would like to see uh, next year um, is uh, more consistency, uh, the reinforcement of uh, new alliances, new partnerships that could bring um, efficient impact on the ground, uh, gathering uh, different actors in a more collaborative, more uh, efficient and uh, uh, sounded uh, way than uh, before in order to, to make the difference and in order to deliver and to be uh, consistent. I think the European Year of Development will be a great opportunity to engage citizens for actions of for global justice. Generally, for NGOs working in the field of development and for the government uh, um, as well, this was a very welcome news that for the very first time in the history of European years, one aspect of the external uh, action of the Union came into the focus of the year, namely development uh, cooperation. The year, the next year, will be very emblematic because the whole post 2015 agenda will have to be decided, perhaps in September, by the uh, heads of state and government meeting in New York. And one important aspect, and perhaps the backbone of the new agenda, will be sustainable development. What I would like to see come out of the European Year 2015 for Development is a renewed sense among European citizens, but also among the professional community that deals with development, of why we are actually doing development, why it still makes sense for us, why it is actually an investment in our own future to do so, and at the same time that we reflect on how will the, the development sector need to change in order to adapt to the changes in the environment around us. I think the European Union, uh, the European Year offers a fantastic opportunity to have that kind of reflection, to have that conversation even with those that are at the moment not believing in development because there is so much problems already that people have to deal with at home.